Thank you so much for having me back in lovely Taupo. I'm really happy to be here again. A couple things didn't change since last year. One being that it should still be illegal for me to drive in your country. <laughs> and once again, I've had enough lolly cakes, cakes to float me right back to the US of A. Um, what a day yesterday, amazing weather, obviously. First class volunteers. We had heaps of hard work and dedication exuding from all the racers. Congratulations to all of you who not only finished, but even towed the line, and I promise you, if you didn't make it to the finish line, it'll just make the next one a little bit more sweeter. What I love most about Taupo is the culture um, and the beauty here. It's, it's really the good life. If any of you were at the welcome dinner on uh, Thursday and you saw our local cultural group here do their performance on the stage, I really, I couldn't take my eyes off them. It was just their focus, their purpose, their intensity, and their pure gumption. Uh, it was just amazing. And I know I tried to channel their passion for what they do into what I was doing yesterday. It's really, really important for me to stand up here in effort to express proper gratitude and genuine gratitude. Uh, this is so much more a we sport than it is an I sport. After nine years as, a, as an amateur and working full time like many of you, I entered my fourth season as a professional, but I feel so fortunate that I'm able to do this for a living. But the truth be told that I'm really, I'm, I'm really, I'm just the technician. Um, there are so many people that help me uh, do what I do for a living, and I'd like to speak on that platform tonight. So my theme tonight is genuine gratitude. To the race management organizers and officials, Jane, Jeanette, Wayne, and team, so many people, too many to even name, for always extending a warm welcome to all of us. Thank you for executing yet again a five-star race. I'm so happy this year didn't have any weather drama and stress was taken off your to-do list. But having been here last year, I know you handle things with stamina and grace regardless of what's thrown at you. Genuine gratitude to the 2,000 plus volunteers. We'll celebrate you properly tomorrow at the volunteer party, but please know how instrumental you are in making this race happen. Genuine gratitude to Mike Riley, to Cameron, who are out there all day and they exemplify pure positive energy all week and all day long. And we, so we can basically happily remember those those final four words with gusto, you are an Ironman. Genuine gratitude to the media from Ironman.com, to Australian triathlete and stuff from Witsup, to Phil and the first off the bike team, Deli, Daryl, all the photographers, all the cameramen. You get our sport buzzing around the world and we appreciate that luxury. Genuine gra gratitude to the fellow pros, even the dudes. How often do you get to race in the same course as an Olympic medalist? talented and humble Estonian, and a 10-time Ironman New Zealand champion and legend. Congratulations, Devin, on your first victory. Marco on second, and Pam on third. To the female pros up here, I have genuine gratitude for all that you do for us and us females in the sport. You mean your first pro race? Congratulations. First Ironman, I, not your first pro race, I meant your first Ironman, amazing. Way to get top five in the first one. Awesome. Anna, only your second year as a pro. You got fifth just a few weeks ago in Auckland and now fourth up here. I can only imagine that you're just going to keep going up the platform. Candace, thank God I'll hopefully be retired by the time you hit my age. <laughs> because you're so talented and strong. And I can imagine you haven't even hit your peak age yet of racing. So I will glad I'll be hit, sitting bonbons by the time you're ready to plateau. All right. And to Gina, my respect and ad admiration for Gina is just unparalleled. I think that she is just limitless in what she has to offer as an athlete, a wife, and a mom. Or mom, as we say here in New Zealand, right? So uh, I've sat up here before telling you how many Ironman distances Gina's won. I honestly, there are so many, I can't keep track anymore, but all I do know is that that number will keep growing and growing every single year. So thank you ladies for a great day on the course. Uh, genuine gratitude to my sponsors who support me through the good and also through the bad and the pretty ugly. <laughs> 
Namely, this trip to see one of my title sponsors, Saucony, out there in New Zealand all over the course was pretty epic. Lastly, I'd like to thank my coach, Matt Dixon, and Purple Patch Fitness, and a huge, huge, massive, genuine you know, gratitude to my family and friends who are constant in my life and who I always put before the sport. At the beginning of the week, I came here and I, I didn't have a working bike, and Paul and Francine hopped in a car from Christchurch, drove 12 hours, took a ferry, Words can't really properly describe, but Paul, I couldn't have raced without you yesterday. So thank you for all you did for me. I'm almost done. <laughs> My husband, Aaron, I'm so happy we can share this journey together and that we can go to places like this and you can do what you love, fly fishing, and I can do what I love, which is Ironman. New Zealand, you've been really good to me, and I look forward to coming back for the 30th anniversary. Thank you. Congratulations. Get a picture of the five of them together. All right, squeeze together. Hey, picture of the five. There they are, your top five professional winners. Fantastic day. Congratulations. Great day.